Hi again. So far we've learned all about how local government works, who is involved and how the elected members get to the positions they're in. This is all great, but how exactly do you, yes you, fit into the picture? What processes are in place to get your thoughts and ideas into action so you can have a positive impact in your communities? Well, thankfully there are so many ways that you can get involved directly, and if you spare me five minutes, I'll tell you all about them. Let's go. The first step to getting involved is getting informed. You've already learned about how councils in South Australia operate, but do you know what topics and issues are important to your local community? Do you know the name of the council in the area you live in? Go to school or play sports? I don't, because I'm recording this now and you're watching it later and I've got no idea where you're watching this from. But do some research, have a look at your local council's website, local sources of news, and talk to your classmates, teammates, family, friends, teachers, and find out what are some things that are currently going on in your council. Visit your local council. Why not take a trip and visit your local council building? Many council chambers are also located with council library, community centres, historic collections, and wonderful staff who will be there to tell you more about the history of your council and how the council operates today. You could also come along and watch the next council meeting. Remember that unless council are considering an item that needs to remain confidential, all meetings are held open to the public, with community members, like you, encouraged to attend. Attending a council meeting is a fantastic way to get first-hand experience of how councils operate and what it's like to be in a council meeting. So have a chat with your teacher, family and friends and see if you can organise a tour to your local council chambers. Remember how elected members are members of your community? Well, why not catch up with them? You can contact your local council's mayor or a councillor and invite them to come and speak to you at your school. They could share knowledge about what the current ideas and initiatives are in your council and what they do in their roles to support your community. You usually can find the contact details of your elected members on your council's website. Why not reach out? All you've got to do is ask. Getting informed is such a great way to get involved. But let's say you have an idea that you're really passionate about and believe will help out your community. It could be an idea for a community fair in your town, school holiday programs for you to join in at the library, or it could even be fixing up the footpath in your street. For this example, let's say you and your friends want to see your council focus more on environmental issues. Let's say include green waste bins next to the general waste or recycling bins around the town centre. A great first step is to reach out to an elected member and have a chat with them about it. Jump onto your council website and grab the contact details of your mayor or a councillor. Share your thoughts with one or more elected members via email, and if you're not sure who to email, try researching to find out who might share a similar interest in your topic. Emailing them is a great way to start, but you could ask your teacher to reach out and see if an elected member could come speak with you at school to talk about your ideas. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just participating in some council community consultation. <laughs> Councils are always seeking feedback on upcoming projects and policies that affect the entire community, by the community. Find the items that are up for consultation on your council's website. Then research and discuss them with your classmates, family, friends and teachers to see what they think of the items. Submit your feedback to contribute your opinions to the consultation process. It's a simple but effective way for your council to get your feedback. And the more community members who participate in the consultation, the better the end result will be, and the better it will reflect the opinions of the community. Giving a deputation at a council meeting. If you have a topic, idea, or way to improve your community, then deputations are a powerful tool to directly address the people that are making decisions on your behalf. Get familiar with the items being discussed at the upcoming council meeting by checking out the agenda on the council website. Then make sure you request permission from the mayor to provide a deputation. You can find out more information on how to do this on your council's website. Then prepare for your deputation by writing notes about what you want to say. And remember, you only have a maximum of five minutes to speak. Then come along to the council meeting and when you're called up by the mayor, step up to the lectern and present your issue, idea or initiative to the elected members. It can be a little daunting giving a deputation, 
So make sure you take a deep breath, practice beforehand, and remember that the elected members are here to listen to you. So make sure you get your points across clearly, concisely, and respectfully. A petition is a document which is signed by people who all agree on the same cause. Council accept petitions from members of the community when making a request on a specific community issue, idea or initiative. You can start your own petition to your council. Start by thinking about an idea, issue or initiative you'd like to champion. Let's use the idea of adding green waste bins alongside general waste bins in your town centre. Go to your council's website to see if they have a petition template that you can use. Write down the request and fill out your information. Then it's time to get your petition out there. You need to go around and get as many names, addresses and signatures from other community members who support your cause. Once you have as many signatures as you can get, submit the petition to your council. It will then be included in an upcoming meeting where elected members will see how important your cause is firsthand. How cool is that? Join a youth committee. Many councils have a committee comprised of young people specifically to discuss items relating to young people in your community. Find out if your council has a youth committee and information on how you can join. You may also need to write an application for a position on the youth committee. And if your council does not have a youth committee yet, maybe it's an idea that you can champion. Voting. Make sure you vote when it's time to do so at the next local government election. Enroll with the Australian Electoral Commission. You can do this once you turn 16. And if you're not an Australian citizen, you might still be able to enroll. Visit your council's website to find out more. Make sure you find out about the next local government elections. Do you know what year and the date the next one will happen? Inform yourself about the candidates and issues affecting your council as the election approaches. And then of course, vote. Ensure you complete your ballot papers and return them via the post. Don't forget though, you must be 18 or older to vote. And finally, running for council. If you're ready to take on the challenge of being an elected member, nominate as a candidate for your council at the next local government elections. Find out if you're eligible to nominate and check out the Local Government Association of South Australia and the Electoral Commission of South Australia's website for more information. Remember, you must be 18 years or older to nominate. Get clear on what you will bring to the role as an elected member, then take your campaign to your community. Good luck. Well, now you know about how local government works and how you can get involved. Your challenge is to now put your newfound knowledge into action and make a positive impact on your community. We can't wait to see what you achieve. Good luck.